Yeah, alongside me, David manager Mitch Brundle. Firstly, Mitch, um, as manager, you know, you wear your heart on the sleeve. The results haven't gone away. Personally, how is that affecting you? Well, of course it does. It's my life. I, I live and breathe this football club. I live and breathe to make it a success. Um, how difficult has the last month or so been? Difficult because obviously it's not. We're not a million miles away, which is it's, it's crazy to say after today. But that's talking about that. But listen, today that's. Well, put it this way: there won't be many. There won't be many people in that team that will play again. Put it this way: for me, anyway. That's, that's you've mentioned that, and some people, the fans, are saying that you're, you're tinkering with the team too much. You made four changes here, five changes there. Um, this is your team. Have you made mistakes in some of the signings? Well, of course, because at the minute, some of the players that you sign from like lower levels, um, they're not consistent enough to, to play six, seven games in a row at a good performance. You know, they have one good game, two bad games, then you think about changing it. Um, you can say about tinkering with the squad, but it's, it, it, it's the consistency basis. Listen, I'll, I'll take full responsibility. Yeah, they are my signings, but the only way I'll get it right is if... If I go and get ones that are consistent at the minute, then that's where are those players? So well, some of them are, are are available, some of them are available, and we can't get them. So it is a case of you don't just want to sign any player because it doesn't football doesn't work like that. You can go and continue signing and signing and signing, but obviously it, it just doesn't work like that. That's, that's Listen, I, like I said, I wear my heart on my sleeve. I tell the honest truth. Um, have I got some of the signings wrong? Yeah, of course. Oh, they, they, they've shown me. Um, at the start of the season, they've shown me they can do it at some points. Um, but it's just to play. Were you surprised that you know, at the start you had, you thought they'd kick on and they haven't done? Is that why they're playing at this level? Yeah, of course. And obviously, the majority of them haven't played at this level. So let's not, let's not beat it around the bush. They, they were playing at their level. And now. Yeah, they stand out at their level, and you think you take some chances on some of them, um, and you put them in at this level, and they can do it because, like I said, the first few games we did, we did show um, that they can do it, but they can't do it on a consistent basis, and all you're after is consistency. I think, well, I think we're missing Henry as much as you put a pressure on a 17-year-old. He, we're missing that balance of him and Danny in midfield, um, and. Hopefully he's back by next week, but it's like I said, it's just tough because sometimes they can be so good. Um, I think the last home game we was here, you know, we said about well, we should have been seven. Whereas today, I don't think, I don't think we even, apart from yeah, scoring late on, um, we didn't, it wasn't exciting. You know, it wasn't, it was nothing to to the game. We don't ask centre halves. We we played a back three today. Three centre halves in the middle of the box. Not one of them marks, and it ain't good enough. Um, Bill's made a mistake. Listen, Bill's made. I think, and I'll, I'll say it to him. I don't mind saying it. He's kept us in a lot of the games this season. He's made two errors for two goals. But when you're a goalkeeper, that's what happens. Um, is it his fault for the second goal? Yeah, of course. He has a bad touch. He goes to go on his left and his right, and but. He's kept us in loads of games, um, and he's performed. He's performed fantastically, and he's, that's the hardest, obviously, part about being a goalkeeper. You make a mistake normally; it's a goal. Um, but the three centre halves in front of him, they don't help him. Um, so, it's, listen. What do you say to the players? I know you do your team talk after the game in the huddle on the pitch. Do you, is that it? Would you speak to them afterwards? Are you saying about releasing players? When do you tell them you're not going to be playing again? Um, obviously tomorrow will be the phone call. Uh, I, like I said, I started it when we was all positive. Um, Are you not positive now? Yeah, of course. Um, but like I said, no, I'm saying like when I do my team huddles, I can't, I don't hide away from the bar when I lose. I don't hide away from the bar when I win. I, I still keep the same way. Yeah, listen, I'm going to get abuse, of course. I understand that. But I always done the huddle when the season started, when we was performing well, when we was close to games. So for me to then go away and change that, that just shows that I, I, I'm going away now from what I would normally do. I would do, regardless of how they performed, regardless of the result, I will stick to what I want to do. And now that I want the boys in the huddle. I want to look them in the eyes and look at them and ask them certain questions and say what is what You're do you not think questioning you your ability because some people say, you know, we'll go back to the age thing. You no. know, I've got Roy Hodgson who's 75 still managing. You're 28 years of age. Is it an age thing you're, you're learning on the job all the time? 
No, I don't, I don't think it's nothing to do with that because a couple of weeks ago it was all positive. So it's, you can it, it, it works. That's how football works. Listen, I, I'm, I'm no dinosaur to football. I, I know how it works. You win three games, you're the best person in the world. You, you lose a game, people start questioning. People mention age. When people mention age about players and managers, I don't question myself, not at all, because I, I know what I've got. I know what I've got to work with. I know that we haven't been a million miles away. I know there's something that we need to add. But also, it's, it is that case of people can say tinkering with the squad, but I'd like to see, it's like I said, we're sitting there as when we're looking and looking at the team and you look at the team on paper and you think, what well, great, like that's going to be a good team. But then also, you you don't know what type of players you're going to get on the day. Some days, certain players are fantastic and other days you think, he was probably, that's one game too many for him. Um, but like I said, I, I never question myself. I'm always confident in myself. I will never hide away from from anything that I'm doing, my, I know my work. If you, even if you ask anyone to do with this football club, and my, even my players, they will say it is down to me because I picked the team, and obviously that comes with the job. But there's too many players underperforming in certain elements, and it's the basics. There is, I'm not asking for world beaters every week. We're, like I said, we know what we've got, we know what we've got to work with, but we have to do something to make it right and I, I won't I'll never stop fighting I'll never stop trying to make sure that this goes right because I, I believe I've got the I've got the capabilities to make it right I, I know that for a fact so um, listen we've had a bad spell the other week everyone was really positive after we drew 1-1 with Braintree and having all them chances but when you lose a game it's obviously football that's how football works you can be it can go one way or go the other brilliant thank you mate